When I say my cup is overflowing, I don't mean I don't have problems. I don't have needs. I might be out of money, but my cup is overflowing. I might be in bad health, but my cup is overflowing. Jesus is never diminished. You can never get to the end of him. He's just always overflowing. I guess what I'm trying to say is the good in your life outweighs the bad. What I'm trying to say is you got more you got more blessings than you do burdens, so quit acting like the burdens are bigger. Than, man, I just don't know why I did. To do. You don't deserve the blessings. You don't deserve the good times, so don't whine about the bad. Just, just rejoice in whatever place you're in because the cup is faithful. The cup will never leave you. The cup said, I'll give you power, and you're more than a conqueror. And the cup says, keep going because Hell ain't in charge of the water supply. Heaven is. And he said, I won't leave you dry. I'm going to supply your needs. If you'll praise the Lord, I'll, I'll cut it five minutes short. But you got to praise the Lord. I tell you, here lately, I'm becoming my own favorite preacher. Amen. I'm just preaching today. It's just the truth. We got to get the right image of God. He is so good. He is so kind. He's overflowing with it. He's not mean and ugly and a monster. It's not who he is. He says, I'll, I'll let my cup spill over on you. And it'll give you a future, and it'll forgive your past, and you'll start all over again. It'll restore your health. We've got to get to a point where we stop sipping the cup and start slurping. Are you a sipper or a slurper? Because when you understand you have an overflowing cup, you'll quit sipping and you'll start slurping. That if I want to be free, I can be free. If I want to never touch a drink. Never do something again that I want to, I can find it if I quit sipping. That's our problem. We got too many sippers in this church and not enough slurpers of the overflow of all of God's goodness and mercy that he wants to give us in every weak area of our life. I'm telling you, your friends may go, but the cup will stay. Your money may go, but the cup will stay. Your health may fade, but the cup will stay. And it's always overflowing. And the question is, and I'm preaching to people today at every one of our campuses, you're in one of these two categories. Sippers sit and stare. Slurpers shout and praise. <laughs>
Which one are you? Do you sit and stare or do you slurp and shout in praise? My cup runneth over. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.